this week's kids books bingo highlight category is our favourite rhyming book. Hi everyone, it's Jenny here from The Bear and the Fox. I am hosting a summer reading challenge together with my lovely friend Amanda from Books and Pieces. It's called the Kids Books Bingo and we have come up with nine different categories of books that we are challenging you to try and read with your kids over the summer. You can download a copy of the Bingo Grid over on my blog and I'm going to be highlighting one of the categories every week and sharing some of my and my children's favourite books for that category. So first up we have a Dr Zeus book who is the king of rhymes. You can't have a favourite rhyming category without mentioning Dr Zeus and our favourite Dr Zeus book is Fox in Socks. My youngest son's middle name is Fox so we have quite a collection of Fox books. Now I can't read you the whole book. First of all it's a little bit too long and secondly there'd be um, some copyright issues but I can give you a little bit of a taster for those who aren't already familiar with it. So it starts off quite easy. Fox, socks, box, knocks. Knocks in box, fox in socks. Knocks on fox, in socks, in box. So my five-year-old can actually read these first few pages on his own, but it gets increasingly harder and uh, Mr. Knox gets increasingly frustrated with the fox. So I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit to my favorite part of this book which is the Tweedle Beetles. What do you know about Tweedle Beetles? When Tweedle Beetles fight, it's called a Tweedle Beetle battle. And when they battle in a puddle, it's a Tweedle Beetle puddle battle. And when Tweedle Beetles battle with paddles in a puddle, they call it a Tweedle Beetle puddle paddle battle. And it goes on. <laughs> I'm not gonna read you all of it. I don't want to get into trouble for reading too much, but it's just super, super funny. And it just gets increasingly, increasingly harder. And then until the end, Mr. Knox loses his patience and says, now wait a minute, Mr. Socks Fox. And he says, when a fox is in the bottle where the Tweedle Beetles battle with their paddles in a puddle on a noodle eating poodle, this is what they call a Tweedle Beetle noodle poodle bottled paddled muddled duddled fuddled waddled fox in socks, sir. And um, this is where poor old fox ends up because he's annoyed Mr. Knox so much. Um, so Fox and Socks, our game is done, sir. Thank you for a lot of fun, sir. So this is Fox and Socks by Dr. Zeus. Our next rhyming favourite is Pants. My five-year-old really loves this because when you're five, everything with pants is funny. And it is quite a funny book. Some great rhymes. So you've got small pants, big pants, giant frilly pig pants, new pants, blue pants, one, two, three. Again, I can't read you all of this, but I'm going to share my son's favourite bit, which is pants to pick a daisy, pants for being lazy, pants on your head when you've gone crazy. And earlier this year for World Book Day, my five-year-old went to school with a pair of pants on his head uh, <laughs> because this is his favourite page from the pants rhyming book. So if you have any pants loving kids, I absolutely promise they will love this book. Last but not least, we've got a different kind of rhyming book. It's called Oi Frog, and it's not the whole book that rhymes. It's not completely written in rhyme. So there is a bit of a conversation at the beginning, and there's this cat who says, Oi Frog, sit on a log, said the cat. And the frog doesn't want to sit on a log because the log gives him splinters in his bottom. But the cat says frogs have to sit on logs. And the frog would prefer to sit maybe on a chair, but hares sit on chairs, or a sofa, They'd like to lie on a nice comfy sofa, but gophers sit on sofas, cats sit on mats, hares sit on chairs, mules sit on stools, gophers sit on sofas, and frogs sit on logs. So even though it's not the whole book that's in rhyme, it's got lots of great rhymes in it. So the frog's just finding all these different animals and what they sit on. So again, I can't read you all of it, but here's just another little taster. What do goats sit on? asked the frog. Goats sit on coats, said the cat. Goats sit on coats, cows sit on plows, and storks sit on forks. And it goes on and on, and then at the end, frog asks a question that he kind of wishes he hadn't asked. He says, what do dogs sit on? asked the frog. 
I was hoping you weren't going to ask that, said the cat. Can you guess? What do dogs sit on? What does dog rhyme with? Yep. So this is a great book with lots of rhymes in it, lots of funny rhymes. And if you love this book, there's more. There's a whole series. So there's Oi Frog, which was followed up by Oi Dog. Then there was Oi Cat. So we've covered all the three main uh, protagonists. Then there was Oi Duck Build Platypus, because what on earth does Duck Build Platypus rhyme with? And there's another new one out as well, which we don't have, which is Oi Puppies. So if you love Oi Frog, there's plenty there in the series to keep you going. So those were our choices for a favourite rhyming book. I would love to hear what you've been reading too. You can leave me a comment over on my blog and you can also find me on Instagram and Twitter under Bear and Fox blog and share what you're reading with me there. So happy reading and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.